So I figured I'd try and at least get somewhat of a hay raking video for you guys. I don't think I've ever done one before um, of raking hay. And uh, I kind of feel like, you know, it's something that needs to be. basically what he's doing is taking however many rows and just shoving it all into one there ain't gonna be hardly any hay here i think he can bail this this evening and get on with things actually it looks like he's just gonna take that row that he's coming down and he might just keep working it into one. I'm pretty certain that's what's gonna happen. But there's no hay here. But he took all that and raked it all over here. There's what, two, three rows here? Not gonna be much, if any. But you know what? We at least got to try and get something out of it. Um, this field, it's been a hay field. It's been a corn field. It's been, a, I think, a soybean field. Oh, wait, my bad. He still got this hay over here, Rake. Okay. You see what happens when the stuff's real thin? You can't... You, it don't stand... It don't stand like... First cutting, second cutting, and third cutting. It is very thin, okay? So, um, there's no right or wrong way to rake hay. Everybody does it differently. Um, that is one thing I have not mastered is raking hay. Um, I'd like to be able to get the opportunity to rake hay, but, um, if the time has not arose, maybe someday. I double pulling tandems like that with a rake dolly, just or a rake hitch. For those of you that want to get particular, it's a hitch because it hooks two together. Okay. Um. There's probably only going to be like maybe. 10 bales here not even 10 what am i thinking maybe more like eight or so round bales but starting to get stuff cleaned up as you guys saw that i uh took part in starting with that disc buying getting that all cleaned up in the last video um so that way we can start cleaning things up the uh, tender will be next on the agenda that'll be probably tomorrow's job cleaning that up and we got a lot more hay to rake we got that field over there to rake and then we'll get the field way over there to rake so we will uh my job's pretty much done as far as raking hay other than moving round bales but that is where the 6120 comes in because it has a loader on it and uh, we can move the round bales very very quickly with that compared to say like 
the Heston or um, anything that does not have a loader it's not capable of moving two bales at one time um, the Ford backhoe can move hay but that hoe does not well it, the hoe does come off but it uh, does not have three-point arms so um, you can only move one bale at a time the anything else one bale at a time the 6120 um, is basically the only thing we got that can move two bales at a time um, that tractor has been a huge help on our farm actually they all have because without a tractor you can't farm i mean that's just the long and the short of it if you do not have a power plant and that's basically what a tractor is is a mobile um hydraulic power plant it uh you're not gonna get no farming done in the 21st century there's just no way no i how. do like this kind of stuff uh you know because i'm i'm more of a visual kind of guy okay i have no clue where he started as far as the end i know you do your endros last or do you do your endros first i was always taught you went around the edge of the field threw it all in and then you came right back around and threw that row out and then you just kind of started going right down the middle and working one section or the other and that is how you rake hay but like i said everybody does it differently no two people rake hay the same and i mean for those of you you guys the proof is right here okay i don't know of any other rake that would clean the ground as well as these roll bar rakes i mean just you guys saw it firsthand i put you on the rakes and uh i mean aside from all the dust they do a bang up job of cleaning the ground now as far as one of those v rakes go it would be nice to have one but for first cutting hay that is where these things shine okay these things do not plug up they just they keep on going where a um where a v-rake would just plug up because the hay would be too heavy just look at that look at that nice clean look at that nice clean ground i mean i am not finding anything but what but what i pull out with my fingers okay and that's just that's just along the short of it okay those things are a, a, a lifesaver now guys you probably you know saying oh them h and s rakes you know them are them are the cats you know what well and everybody's entitled to their own opinion okay do i think a wheel rake would do good in first cutting hay no let's stop and think about it logically you're going down down the field and here's your you're making your windrow you're going down in the field and your hay when it's mowed is about that tall or so when it comes from the tether from it fluffing it and you're trying to run that through a v-rake and it's trying to narrow it down to a little tiny space about like that so it can make a windrow now we're just using this as an example okay so you're trying to force that heavy hay through the back wheels it's 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 a ground driven rake i can see where that thing's gonna plug because you're trying to force all that thick heavy hay through a space about like that and then them couple last back wheels they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna what they're gonna they're gonna plug and they're gonna drag because it, like all hay rakes except the rotary rakes they're ground driven 
okay now I've, I don't understand what the purpose of a rotary rake is they'll it, it looks like they just beat the crap out of the hay now this this is a more gentle way of making hay okay so you don't have to sit there and beat the crap out of the hay as it's going around and being thrown into a windrow um i just feel that's a more violent way of making hay and you'll lose a lot more of your hay than if you're just using roll bar rakes like we do okay everybody that i've talked to about them rotary rakes oh we love them we don't have any problems with them well you're obviously blind because unless i'm missing something this is the easiest way to make hay is with roll bar rakes i mean there's nothing to it I mean, it's just, it, it's that simple. You're basically taking two rows that you would single. You're just putting them right into one. Nothing to it. Like I said, unless I'm missing something about them rotary rakes, I mean, I don't know, but you can only do a little bit at a time. What, one row of a roll bar rake to a rotary rake? You can't spread it out like you can uh, with a rake hitch. You can rake two singles or you can rake a double. Either or. That's the nice thing about a rake hitch. So let me know, guys, if you would like me to do more explaining of stuff like this. Looks like he's going to go... Oh, he's finishing that row down there. Going to come back this way and get this here. Instead of screwing around with that little piece down there by my, um, out front of my grandpa's house there, he's going to go right on across the waterway, which that really makes sense. Instead of screwing around with that little uh, rectangle piece there, why not just continue to run all the way to the road? They're really, really simple, guys. I don't understand why people like them rotary rakes. I see nothing good about them. It's just basically a big hay tetter. You're beating the crap out of the hay. Wear this, it's just you're rolling it into a windrow. Maybe I've changed some guys' opinions. Maybe I haven't. But, there's nothing wrong with them. And then he's gonna go over a couple rows and do it all over again. If that field of soybeans was red, white, and blue up until the middle, and then red, white, and blue coming in from this side, with Trump big bold letters planted right in the middle of the field, that you could see it from the sky, or you could kind of see it from the ground, wouldn't that be awesome? I was just standing here looking at the beans, how... You know how when you mow it looks like stripes? Well, that's what it looks like in the bean field. Well, we got these two fields right. This one and then the one back there. And I think maybe tomorrow we will get it all bailed. We will join back with you guys in the morning, Lord willing. Catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.
If you guys think John Deere is better than Case, please leave your comments in the comment section below. Or if you think Case IH is better than John Deere, leave your comments still in the comment section below. Mm. Catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Well, today's project is <clears throat> we're going to be cleaning the hay tether up. And that way we can put it away because why would you want to put a dirty, dirty, dirty hay tether away? Plus, it looked good in the building, too. If it all cleaned up and greased, ready for next year.